Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ian, digital marketing consultant and agency owner. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can install Google Optimize on your Shopify store. Now this is important because Shopify is one of the most widely used e-commerce platforms in the world. And Google Optimize is one of the best split testing tools that you can get anywhere and it's free. So if you wanna learn how to run split tests on your Shopify store with Google Optimize's split testing tool, then stick around. All right, so here I am in my Shopify store. And what we're gonna do at this point is we're going to install the Google Optimize script so that you can do in your A-B testing on Shopify. And the things that you already have to have in place if we're gonna do this are for this setup, you need to have a Shopify store that you're already working with. You need to have a Google Tag Manager account that you already have open and have installed tags and triggers and variables on. And then you need a Google Optimize account. Now you can sign up for all three of these for free and follow along as I I go through this. Uh, you're not gonna be able to do much if you don't have an active store. So you're gonna be limited in the functionality for this store, but you can still get some good practice by just learning how to set these up, even if you don't have any traffic to your store or anything like that. So as long as you have your Google Tag Manager, your Google Optimize and your Shopify, we're good to go. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to our Google Optimize account. Now, when you set up your Google Optimize account, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to drop a tracking script for Google optimize onto Shopify. Now, in this case, we're going to do it on Google Tag Manager so that you can manage all your code off the site. That being said, there's still going to be a small amount of code that we're going to have to place on the site to prevent. Uh, it's called an anti-flicker script. It basically prevents a visual flicker on your page when some of these tests are being run through Google Optimize. So anyway, if I come to my Google Optimize, this is the page that I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go over here to the side where it says install optimize. I'm gonna click on that and then it's gonna give me this script. Now this script is what I normally would drop on the site, but I'm going to use this option down here to install this with Google Tag Manager. So in this case, I'm gonna set up a specific tag that's gonna run on my site. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this container number, this container ID, my Google Optimize container, and I'm gonna head over to my Google Tag Manager account. Now, one thing before we get started creating this tag, we're using Google Tag Manager, which means Google Tag Manager already needs to be installed on your Shopify store. So if you haven't done that already, head over to one of my videos that discuss how to install Google Tag Manager on Shopify. And if you don't feel like watching that video, you can go watch a number of other videos. Uh, tons of people will cover this. It's pretty common because so many people are using Shopify and Google Tag Manager. That being said, as long as you have Google Tag Manager set up, we can continue. So I'm going to abandon this tag that I was creating. And I'm going to pretend that we're starting from scratch here in our Google Tag Manager account. So what I'm going to want to do is head over to tags and I'm going to create a new tag. I'm just going to call this my Google Optimize tag. And when you go over here and click to look at your different types of tags, there's actually a specific tag for Google Optimize you'll see right here. So we're just going to click that. It's going to ask us for Optimize Container ID. Again, I pulled that from the side over here. So you're gonna copy that and paste it right in here. And then your Google Analytics settings variable. Now this is the setting for the Google Analytics account that you have hooked up uh, to Google Tag Manager. I'm not gonna get into all the details about this. I'm just gonna talk about the one setting that you need to have checked on this. So I'm gonna go here and select my Google Analytics settings variable. If you have not already set yours up, what, what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna click enable override right here and you're gonna drop your Google Analytics tracking ID uh, in here instead of using a settings variable. And I'm not gonna get into the difference between those, but if you don't have one set up, go ahead and click override and then go to your Google Tag Manager account, or excuse me, your Google Analytics account. You're gonna to wanna to pull this number right here, which is your uh, Google Analytics ID. And after you hit enable override, you're gonna drop that Google Analytics ID right here where it says tracking ID. In more settings, we're gonna to go to field to set, and we're just gonna set this one field. It's gonna be called an allow linker, and we're gonna set it to true. So you can see it's already auto populates, but if it's not, it's okay. You can type it in, allow a linker, and we're gonna set that to true. Uh, and then down here, advanced configuration, uh, we're gonna leave that, use debug version, leave that. Don't touch anything else. So this is our Google Optimize tag and we're gonna want it to fire on all pages. So we're gonna use an all pages trigger. I'm then going to save this tag and now we are good to go. 
keep in mind, so we did a override on the basic setting. If you are using a Google Analytics variable instead of overriding the settings, uh, when you're looking at that variable, you're gonna need to make sure that that allow linker is set to true the same way that it was just set to true in that Google Optimize tag I created. So if you have a Google Analytics settings variable, you're gonna come down here to fields to set. Make sure you have this right here, allow linker equals true. If you don't know what that is, just go look it up. You can read about it in some of Google's documentation uh, to get a better idea because it's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. Just make sure that you have it set up. So now that we have our Google Analytics, uh, we have our Google Optimize tag set up in Google Tag Manager. We have Google Tag Manager set up on the site and we have our optimized tag set to fire on all pages. Theoretically, we should be good to go, but there's one more detail that we need for Shopify. So when we go back to Google Optimize and we go to Install Optimize, you're gonna see right here, Optional. If you encounter page flickering issues, you can install the anti-flicker snippet. So I'm gonna click on that. Look, what are they talking about, this anti-flicker snippet? You're gonna see this right here. What this is, is you install this on your page. And for some people, when they install Google Optimize, because it's reloading the page, uh, or it's switching the page out that's loading to test your, you know, your A-B split test for that page. Sometimes it's gonna cause the page to visually flicker and it's gonna be noticeable for some of your users. So to ensure that that doesn't happen in those certain cases where it could happen, you're gonna copy this anti-flicker snippet. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over here to Shopify and you're gonna to go to your code editor. So I'm gonna click on online store I'm then gonna click on themes and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go to edit code. Of course, gonna take a long time to load. Okay, so we're gonna go to edit code. We're gonna go to this theme.liquid file. This is one of your main theme files and right after the opening head tag, before anything else, you're gonna come in here and drop that anti-flicker snippet. So as you can see, I have my head tag right here. Right after it, I drop this anti-flicker snippet and then I continue on with the rest of the code on my site. So just drop it in right after the head tag. You're gonna come over here and click save, all assets saved. I'm gonna go back to home on Shopify. And there we go. So I now have Google Optimize and it is installed through Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager was previously installed on my Shopify store. And then finally I went into Shopify and I made sure that we had our anti-flicker snippet installed right after the opening head code. So I saved all that, everything should be good to go. The one thing you wanna make sure you do, which if you paying attention, you might've noticed I skipped, is you wanna make sure that you publish your Google Tag Manager container, right? After every uh, change you make in Google Tag Manager, none of it's gonna be live till you publish it. So we're gonna go ahead and publish this and I'm just going to, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna type in Google Optimize. We're just gonna use that for this update so I know that that is what was installed on this publish. I'm gonna go ahead and publish my container and this is now gonna set Google Optimize live on my Shopify store and I'll go be able to go into Google Optimize and now run split tests through Shopify, no extra third party apps, nothing, just running it off Google Tag Manager. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, you know got something out of this and are maybe able to even test this out on your site. All right, so in this video, we went over everything that you need to do to get started using Google Optimize on your Shopify store. You can now run any page tests you want. And you'll be able to track the performance of those tests and you won't have to do any custom coding. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Comment below letting me know what other types of videos you'd like to see. As always, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so that you're notified anytime that we come out with new videos on paid acquisition, tracking, and analytics. And also, as always, thank you guys for watching.